Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wesley Vanitou and today I'm really excited to talk to you about the Bevel script PD Whisk and I uh, uh, created. So if you remember the previous video about the way the Bevel modifier should work, I was talking about the the technical friction we have when you want when you try to design in 3D uh, the problem is we have to to tweak the too many parameters and uh, it cannot be efficient when you try to to do some some design stuff in a, in a 3D package and I, I was proposing a way for the bevel modifier to to work like a CAD software to create a fillet or a chamfer when you want uh, to design stuff especially non sub modeling technique and with the amazing help of uh, PD Whisk, now it's it's happening. So let me show you how it works exactly. So before, if I want to create a bevel here, I have to assign it to a vertex group, create a bevel modifier, and choose the vertex group here. And yeah, set it like this. So even if you assign sh shortcut for, for this step, it's not efficient and, and fast enough, especially when you design in 3D, you want to be in a, in a thinking flow all the time, not a, a technical constraint. And now with the, with the beveler, all you have to do is just select the hedge you want to, to fillet or chamfer and just activate it like this. And when you finish it, it returns to edit mode so you can continue to, uh, to do your stuff. You see? So you can either create a fillet or create a chamfer. And that's it. You create it, you're done and you move forward. And that's huge. That's really huge because uh, uh, you remove all the technical constraints of the bevel modifier and you can start to design your thing really freely so let me uh show you a quick demo of this uh of this object i i will just start the the beginning of it just uh, do some uh boolean for you to see how it works so let me start with that oh yeah i, I just want to talk about something if you choose um uh, each segment individually, it will create a, a, a different vertex group all the time. If you want, if you want these two one to be on the same uh, on the same vertex group, but but you don't want to include this one, you have to put an edge in between. Otherwise, if I select both like this, as you can see in the vertex group, it will select all that part. So if I activated the the beveler it will put a bevel here too. So if it is your intention, good. But if you just want a fillet on each side, you can either just separate it like this and create your fillet like this, or chamfer, of course. Or you just assign a mirror modifier and you make it work like this. So let me start the quick demo. Let me create a mirror. Okay. Whoops. Uh, let me remove this part. So, whoops. Okay. So here, for example, I just remove that to stay flat here. And let me put a chamfer here. So for example, here's the same. If I select every uh, these edges on only, it will take this one in consideration in vertex. So I have to put a vertex here and just remove it so I can create my, my chamfer like this. And this is a, a really interesting case. Here, for example, this vertex is uh, in this vertex group and this one on this fillet and this chamfer. 
if I reactivate the beveler, it will select the one you created before. So it will uh, uh, modify this one, as you can see, like this. So, so if you want to modify the fillet, just select this one, for example, and you can change it. So let me... Just create this, for example. Okay. Okay. Put it that way. Okay. So here I apply apply the scale to uh, to make the the beaver uh, return to normal. And now let me, for example, put a mirror modifier. So. I have this and uh, okay. Okay. And do the same, put a mirror. Here, I can create, for example, another one. Okay. Okay. This, let me change this one to be mesh because I, I boolean in, in, in carve most of the time but for some time you, you just change it to be mesh to have a, a cleaner mesh and yeah something interesting here for example you cannot no not on this one maybe yeah on this one you have some some hard effects here so what you can do you can just reactivate the the beveler and increase with the scroll of the mouse the number of segments and pdwisk implement that and that's really amazing I, I never thought about that so you can if you have some artifact just increase the stuff and it worked perfectly and it's still absolutely non-destructive so let me finish with the uh... yeah let me put a cylinder 64, okay, let me put that at center, something like this, oh. like this, and boolean again, and yeah, as you can see, the, the workflow is really smooth. You don't have to think about technical constraints. You just go with the flow. And, and the reason why I, I just can't uh, put stuff uh, as fast as you see right now, it's because of, of the K-map I created. Uh, and uh, I will talk about that on the Mesh Master course. So, because a lot of people ask me about, uh, yeah, uh, uh, share sc um, screening my, my keyboard shortcut, but you will not understand anything because I have a special uh, uh, key map uh, for a really fast 3D modeling workflow. And I'm, and I'm working, uh, as I said previously, on, on a course about that. So, so stay tuned on this. So yeah, and you can, if you want, apply, uh, no. apply everything. And, and you have your mesh. And you can continue to, uh, to play with it, to add some details and stuff like that. So, 
the add-on will be available uh, the next week. I just have to talk about some stuff with PD Whisk uh, on this weekend. But uh, it is a better version for now because uh, I, we will keep at some tiny modification before uh, before the final version, and uh, I will release the better version in uh, in the beginning of the next next week. So it will be absolutely free to to download. But I want you to con consider something, especially for Mister Pidwisk. So uh, Pidwisk is really a name. Uh, an amazing guy. Uh, uh, maybe you don't know it, but he, he's behind some add-on you're using, uh, maybe on your daily uh, daily uh, workflow. And even if the add-on is free, I really want you to consider to to give uh, to give him some love by by giving him, uh, uh, by giving to him only one buck for the uh, for the script because I really believe it is it is huge for uh, for concepting and, and fast 3D modeling workflow. And uh, he's really a, a humble guy, so he, he don't talk about about that a lot. But to me, he's, uh, he's really a creative modeler. And let me t uh, tell you a story about that. Uh, since I post the video about the way the bevel modifier should work, I have dev guys who contact me to make that happen. And by the way, thank guys. I really appreciate the fact you take the time to, uh, to help me create this. But unfortunately, uh, they di they didn't uh, make it happen. And PD Whisk uh, uh, does that on his free time, and he he's just crushed it. I I, I exposed to him the the problem. He he just tell me, okay, sure. And I don't know. The next day or two days after, he just came back with the with the uh, first version. It was working. It was really amazing. So yeah, I just want to to give him uh, a lots of love uh, by by promoting him. Even if you don't see him on on the on, on the network a lot, but uh, yeah, if you can give, oh, you're not allowed to give more than one buck. But if we are hundred or thousand of people uh, are giving him one buck, it it will be really cool because remember he does that on his free time. He have a, he has a job, uh, he has a, a life too. So yeah, I I really t uh, want him to uh, to um, appreciate uh, the work he, he does for us. And the second thing, I want you, uh, because BlendSpark um, told me I should promote the channel. And by the way, man, thanks a lot for that. I really appreciate the fact that you uh, that you like the, the channel. And all of you guys, uh, your kind words, I, I really appreciate it, really. It, it's really amazing. But unfortunately, I don't have time to promote the channel. The reason is... Uh, I'm focusing on my on my design skill, and I have a lot of work ahead of me, and my time is very limited. And uh, and between that and provided good stuff for you guys on the channel, I don't have time to promote it. So if I can ask you only one thing is uh, talk about talk about the Penfinity channel as much as you can on every forum on our station, CG Society. If you like the video, uh, recommend it. If you talk about it on uh, on social network, you, you can uh, put a hashtag Penfinity and and put the link of the channel. Uh, yeah, spread it as much as as you can because I really I, I'm focusing on on creating good content for you guys. I don't have time to promote it, so I hope you will we, you will talk about it uh, everywhere. And uh, I want you to if you on social network uh, because. Uh, I, I want to make those tools available for uh, as much people as possible. So when you are on social network, on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, uh, just put those hashtag uh, for, for, for the Beveler add-on for everybody to uh, to know about it so, so they can either download it or in integrate it into their, their own tool to, to work with. And uh, yeah, it will be really cool. But uh, as I said previously, if you can only give what it will be available only one buck to, to PD Whisk, I will really appreciate it because he, he is really kind, he's really humble, he's a, he has a really good creative thinking and I, and I really love that and uh, I would love him to do that maybe. Unfortunately, I'm not millionaire yet, so I just can't with the snap of the finger make that happen to him. But uh, I hope uh, someday it will be about, uh, um, able to do that full time because he's really enjoyed. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's all for now. So um, on the next video, I will post the link of the of the add-on. I just have to talk about uh, with Peter Whisk about some stuff, 
and we'll be put put the the beta, the first beta version for you to use to give us feedbacks uh, about it. And uh, yeah, if uh, if you find this video informative, of of course, just drop uh, some love. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, until the next video, guys. Uh, have a great day. Take care of yourself. That's really important. And thanks a lot for your message, email and everything. We really appreciate it. And uh, see you soon, everybody.